Hey guys, so it's been about a year since I've purchased my Sony A7C Mark II and what a joyful ride it has been. As a hybrid shooter who takes stills and video, the A7C Mark II has just been a workhorse of a camera for me for content creation and social media. A matter of fact, in my opinion, it is still the best hybrid camera on the market today for its form factor. It's a full frame camera, 33 megapixel sensor, AI autofocus. It's basically a Sony a7 IV in a smaller camera body. So perfect for travel. If you're just doing social media content creation, it is perfect, guys. from the original a7c to me it has been such a game changer especially in the video aspect now being able to shoot in 10-bit 422 4k resolution huge game changer for my workflow and ever since i purchased it i honestly never looked back and just color grading has been a joy it's been pleasant and you know filming an s-log 3 i i used to get worried about filming an s-log 2 s-log 3 In the year that I've had this camera, has it ever messed up on me, failed on me, anything? No, battery has never run out on me, uh, memory card has never corrupted, I've never had any issues with the camera, the autofocus has been great, um, but obviously you want to learn how to use the focus area settings and configure your camera. Now will I end up upgrading to the Sony a7 V? And honestly, it's to be determined. Um, the Sony a7C II is still future-proof for at least another three to five years, depending on what you're doing. But for me, the one drawback with the a7C Mark II is it only has one SD card slot. And that's just been the main thing that has kind of held me back from doing any kind of paid gigs or professional work. I am happy though because the a7c has indeed monetized this channel basically um, having a theme revolving around my camera my photography my videography uh, so I can't thank this camera enough for it it's just been my companion by my side and honestly it does everything I needed to do it's just honestly the lack of two SD card slots and maybe still filming in 4K 60, there is a crop on it. And the breathing compensation, I think it could be better if Sony does do a new camera where it doesn't crop in as much to the camera sensor. If your lens does do a lot of focus breathing, those are just a few improvements that I personally am looking for in an upgrade.
other than that, the Sony a7C2, guys, has been perfect. Still love it. No regrets. And Black Friday is coming up. There might be some deals out there, so go check out the camera now. Buy it while it's still hot.